weird. Warning, you're about to see something really weird. We're going to get into it right now. We're going to give you a preview, and then we're going to get start the video in the beginning. I had no say, and I did not want it to be a part of this. But this is coming later, the full scene. You're gonna, you are gonna, don't want to miss it. <laughs> Just wipe it ah, This is so weird. Just wipe it Oh, bro. God. Just wipe it in, bro. Just wipe it in, bro. Welcome back to another build day, ladies and gentlemen. We're still on the Brewster bus, and... If you haven't watched any other videos before this, there's a whole series you can watch of this bus getting to this point. But today, our mission is doors and drawers. So, we're gonna build the doors for all this and cover this up. We're gonna do one drawer here, we're gonna do one drawer here, and that's like one of the last big missions in this bus, and then it's just like little stuff, like hanging a curtain rod and little things like that. So, that's the last major mission. Let's get on it. Usually when I do drawers, drawer slides, I like to cut a piece of plywood and then put the slider on it, pop the slider in, cut the plywood down. That's like the best way to do drawer slides, but I got a bunch of stuff on the floor on both sides, so we're gonna use these Craig Jig drawer slides, which work great if you get your measurement lined up right. But So that's what we're gonna go use right now. We're gonna go figure this out. I just filmed this and realized that it was too dark. That's what happens when you shoot your camera in manual. But anyways, the two biggest missions are that's left in this bus are done today. So I got the two drawers that were getting installed in here done. So the only thing left is a couple doors and then all the cabinetry is done and then we're just mounting random stuff like curtain rods and things like that. So I'll show you the drawers, check it out. I love doing these little inset drawers like kind of a trademark of mine now and bam soft close sliders and then they just kind of hold themselves in there drawer there and drawer here bam feeling it so that's going to be it for the day today and we'll get back on this thing tomorrow and do those doors get the cabinetry done so i'll see you in the a.m <laughs> Y'all, it's a new day. <laughs> Today is door day. I cannot let anything stop me from getting these doors done. You'll do it. I'll give you an hour and a half. An hour and a half to do it. Okay, well, we'll see. It's only three doors, so. We're gonna get some measurements and we're gonna get on this thing. So, we are gonna make a door for right there and two doors for right there. That's our mission. If that's all we do today, I'm okay with that, but that's what we're trying to get done. Let's get her done. Y'all, 
I think the cabinetry is done. Let me show you. So, got this little compartment here for the water heater. Got a drawer for silverware and all them knickknack patty wax. And then we got this opening up for underneath the sink. All soft closed sliders. You've already seen that. And then we got this drawer over here. I think you put some pots, pans, cups, whatever over there. And then just a little alcove right there. I think the cabinetry is completely done in this bus. I'm going to go get lunch because it's about lunchtime. And then uh, we're going to reassess the situation. So one of the big dilemmas building the bus is whether to do a dinette or a couch. I've done both in different buses and obviously you know that I'm pro couch. <laughs> and the way that I'm pro couch is I just like the loungeable, lounginess of having a couch. Plus I have the seatbelt in there. One of those things you might need to figure out for yourself, but I always put lagoon mounts on so that way I have like a little desk area at the couch. Let's pop that open. Y'all, oh, we got the table thing done. I just kind of showed you that. Um, we're like down to the wire. So I was just sitting here looking at it like, what do I do next? So what I did is I just made a list of all the final things that need to get done to finish this bus so I could see what needs to happen and I could just start checking it off. So I don't think we're gonna finish this whole list today, but We'll keep going on that list today and keep checking stuff off. And I think by the time we get through tomorrow, I think in the next two days or so, she'll be looking real good. But there she is. She's almost there. Cabinetry's done. Got our little table. I, I love doing the lagoon mount couches like this because it works as an armrest, desk. I don't know. It, it, I just think it's functional. So this is where we're at. Oh, I gotta put rope trim on that and cover that up, add that to the list. We're just gonna start checking stuff off the list. Y'all, we have a surprise for this vlog. Look who it is. Well, hello, my darlings. That's Mindy from the Ninth <laughs> Element, and you know she don't come out here. Look, so I build buses in this shop. <laughs> here we go. And Mindy I cook. the delicious food in this shop, <laughs> man. Got to keep the children full. Plus, I'm not going to see you all for a little while because Jaylene is going cross country with Ember. Oh, yeah. So, I know you guys have been hearing about Jaylene leaving, but mm -hmm. she's actually packing right now. And by the time this video is out, she's going to be on the road. Totally. So, she's leaving tomorrow morning and packing right now. So And it's been a month already since I've seen them, since Descend on Ben, because I headed for the coast right after that because of the smoke and the fires. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know who this is already. <laughs> but if you don't, we'll have a link in the description. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's a brand new day and we're finally getting to work. I'm not going to tell you what time it is because, you know, just not. <laughs> You've been working. But We've all been working. We got, we got Brandon over here visiting. What's up? We got Amber and Jaylena chilling. Hi. Hello. And then Mindy's got her little setup over here. Making a charcuterie. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that sweet bus in the background. Mm -hmm. So we're going to finally get our day started. It's been... <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing, but we're going to get on it. A 
Looks like Brandon's jumping in the game. <laughs> Look, so I got, he's gonna put some polyurethane on that shower, on the wood in the shower to keep it from molding and he's getting ready to mask that up. And then we're gonna use some of this to uh, waterproof it. trim it out a little bit, but it's such a little you know, fit, I should trim it out a little more. Okay, y'all. Uh, the monitors are hooked up, so let's check them out. So the DC to DC monitor is working. Let's see if our remote works. Oh, that's right. That's right. 110, on and off on a switch. Let's check that sucker out. I need the keys. All right, and Jaylene is leaving. All right, y'all. The baby and Jaylene are getting ready to take off. I don't know how I feel about it. It's real now. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the last time I'm gonna see my baby for a while. Jaylena. I don't know how I feel about this. Huh? You gonna miss your dad? Of course we are. We already miss you. It's official. Jaylena and Ember have left for their adventure. I don't like the feel of it. But, you know, I feel like it's a good thing for Jaylena to get out of here for a while, so, man, yeah. y'all so we're in the jeep the ladies just left yeah. and uh i'm feeling some kind of way about it so mindy and i are gonna go join brandon <laughs> and levi out at the hot spring for an hour or so oh let's get a coffee oh i want to go to the real one main street with mary oh yeah let's, cool? yeah, let's yeah. do that we're gonna get coffee at main yeah. street mary if you watch we love you yeah so i'm gonna take a couple hours and just kind of chill in the hot spring it's been so long with the homies and I don't know if we talked about it but I brought uh, Brandon and Levi out there last night and I hope they had a good time we're gonna find out it was both of their first times in a wild hot spring yeah. I think it's Levi's first time in a hot spring and period. I dropped him off at a trailhead in the woods at 10 <laughs> o'clock at night in the dark and said you'll find it <laughs> Do you want to come for another soak? I think so. Yeah, do Warm it. Up. Yeah. About to head to the hot yeah, spring, y'all. Yeah, from Mary, me. Yeah, in Florence is where I took that one.
Mm-hmm. It's an hour from <clears throat> this right here. You go through, um, this is why I love Vanita. Oregon. <laughs> I used to spend my whole life chasing hot springs and taking photos. I'm going back. No more bus building. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back to building buses. Now, I'm gonna take a second to show you uh, what's going on in here. Got the homeboy, Levi. What's up? In here doing uh, rivet damage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the only mistake that I will have. So, I know you guys heard me talk crap about the air hammer doing rivets in a past video. Oh, it's... We took four minutes, watched a YouTube video on how to do it, and now we got it pretty much figured out. So what you do is you take this little pointy tip, and you knock the center out, and then you take this tip, and then you just cut them right off. And how's it going so far? Oh, dude. Once I figured out how to do it on my second one, the first window was damaged. The second section, I tore through the top rivets in a matter of minutes. Just like two wow. minutes and was done. I think what I'm going to do here is work on all the top section, get the dangerous out the way. Yeah. Because the bottom section can be done leisurely. The top section, I can have no more F-ups. I do not want to damage any more that's not mine. <laughs> yeah, so Levi's doing us a huge solid coming up in here and helping get this thing ahead. And then I just got off the phone with Momager and she gave me the go ahead to get the window deletes so that we can get the windows done in this bus mm -hmm. which needs to happen before snow and rain start happening oh yeah oh yeah so i got the okay <laughs> from my financial advisor he's gonna keep ripping in here and then you and i are gonna go back into brewster and keep getting that list checked off morning afternoon ladies and gentlemen <laughs> the ladies are all gone Jaylene is gone Ember's gone and Mindy just left so it's just the boys at the shop now it's just me and Levi and we've been a little crazy we've been doing reels and TikToks all morning. <laughs> uh, anyways we got to start getting some stuff done today so I have today and tomorrow to finish Brewster as long as I can keep cracking I should be all right but Today's major mission, so there's two major mi missions left in the bus, and that's installing a diesel heater and the gray water. There's a lot of other little tiny stuff, uh, small, easy projects, but those are the two major missions. So those are gonna split into the last two days. Today is diesel heater, tomorrow's gray tank, or gray water, gray tank, all that stuff. And then we'll sprinkle the little missions in between. Now. I've done in past videos, I've talked about diesel heaters and how there was only one that I liked and one that I ordered and one that I've installed a million times. And I've installed other ones and they're always missing parts and all. But anyways, the point is, the diesel heater that I used to buy is not available anymore. So I just had to guess on a diesel heater that's good and I swear it's like a 50-50 shot they're good or not. <laughs> uh, so here it is. I'll put a link in the description to what I use and you should either buy this one or not depending on what happens when I install it. <laughs> so let's get that thing in there. All 
right y'all moment of truth so this is yesterday I did the majority of the diesel heater and I finished up a couple little projects today so it took all day to do the diesel heater but we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna pray there's no problems so there's no fuel in the line either so it's got a prime so it might error out a couple times okay so let's let's go outside and see if we see the pump working all right y'all so you can see the screen it's pumping and there's air coming out there's air coming out the muffler and the pump is ticking so it's filling up the line so it might air out because I stretch that fuel line as long as it'll go but so far it looks good so as soon as fuel actually hits the heater it should fire and then we should start getting some heat so I'll turn this camera back on if that happens hopefully nothing bad happens all right chill that's all diesel so let me explain what just happened um, basically everything was working and we heard the pump ticking and I got up underneath it and the uh, diesel was going the wrong way it was pumping back into the tank I was like someday right I just went and looked I installed the pump backwards so now there's diesel all up in the line and I had to just get in there and get it handled it's all over my back so diesel on your skin is not good so I'm gonna have to go take a shower get this off of my skin and uh, but we're gonna have Levi turn the heater back on and see if it works now so sweet all right y'all we got a heat coming in the bus Levi come feel that tell him what you think oh wow that's a little too hot for today <laughs> yeah but we're just gonna go ahead and let that thing burn and work for a bit but I think we're good. Oh yeah, it's getting hotter too. I need to get up this bus ASAP. Uh, roll. <laughs> All right, diesel heater works, bro. Woo, woo, woo. I need to take the All right, y'all. I don't know how I feel about this, but I got diesel on my back and I can't get to it. So Levi's gonna. Yeah. Assume the position. <laughs> All right, bro. Okay, let's not make this weird. <laughs> bro, is it warm? Hold up. You're wasting the warm. Oh water. man, it ain't warm. Just, just hit it real quick. Oh just no. Hit it real quick. Ready? Yeah, go. Woo! 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 All right. Hit it with the. Hit it with the. I gotta do more water. Oh, no, bro. bro. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, bro. I need a rag. I no, just wipe hand. it in, bro. <laughs> no, just wipe, wipe it in, bro. You. Just wipe it ah, in. <laughs> this is so weird. Just wipe it in, Oh, bro. God. Just wipe it in, bro. <laughs> just wipe it in, bro. Oh, just no. Wipe in, bro. <laughs> just wipe it in, bro. Just wipe it in. Stop right, it. Get it off, bro. No. Get you got to leave it in. Let it soak the diesel away. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> leave that shit in. Diesel ain't coming off with one wash. Oh, it's warm. What, what, okay, go. Oh, okay. It's gonna get cold quick. Okay, when one. it starts getting cold, you can be done. <laughs> We're starting the gray tank. Let's go. What time is it? 6.40 to 7. We're just putting a long day. Gray tank is oh, hung. Gray tank is hung and all the gray water plumbing is hooked up, mounted. 
The last thing I gotta do is do my little remote ball valve uh, release, but I gotta find the switch in this shop somewhere. But the gray water system is completely done pretty much except for the electric release valve, but it already has a manual in there, so it could be done right now, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna clean up. That's it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, he's been doing that. Big bus over there, fully demoed. Yeah, but you'll see that in Levi's video. I'm tired. We're cleaning up and getting this party moving. New day. We're hoping to check off pretty much everything off this list today. We're hoping this is the official last build day of the Brewster bus. So I'm gonna move some buses around and I'm just gonna start hopping into missions and get after it. Okay, so all the cabinetry is in here and now we gotta do it. I use pre-finished ply, which is finished on one side and the back and the edges all need to be oiled just to protect the wood. So if you look right here, see how I oiled this side and then this side isn't? So any of the exposed edges like this can just be brushed on and just look look what it does to the edges crazy right look at that and then we can turn it you know what i'm saying look at that Ooh. it definitely does make a difference yeah i don't know how well it's going to come through camera but that does make a difference yeah so you can apply it a few ways you could I find that just a cheap little foam brush is easiest for the edges and then on like the big surfaces like on the back here you just get a rag dunk it in there and just wipe it on real quick doesn't need to be applied super intricately at all and that's it and you're gonna go through and just do all the wood and seal it up the best you can okay and you can reapply it later too if you want to do another coat or whatever. The question that people will want to know is, will you need gloves for this? You should wear gloves, but you know, I also use a grinder with sandals. side check it all right let's check it out I can hear it I heard it yep works sweet it works high five <laughs> I literally had no idea how to trim this floor and I asked Instagram and y'all told me two inch angle aluminum. Come check it out. Look at that. Look at that. Bro. Y'all, y'all came through. Y'all came through in the pinch, bro. Y'all came through. Yo amigos, so I took over a little bit here, 
Me and Isaac, we have been working all day, all day. We truthfully thought we were gonna finish today. We've been up since about six, seven, and uh, we are close. We are at 99.8%. Yesterday we were at 99.2. <laughs> that po that point six percent is not easy to. <laughs> it was not easy to get done. But we're close. We're so incredibly close. There's almost a guarantee done tomorrow. Get you then. Y'all, guess what? The curtain showed up. Official last day of Brewster. Official, official, official. I'm gonna start hanging these curtains up. Y'all, Brewster is officially done. So the curtains, I got them all snap buttoned and you can kind of see the contraption right here. They're snapped up like that. You've seen me do it. I'm not gonna show you the build because you're gonna have to wait for the tour to see that. So we're officially done. Let's go outside and talk about it. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm gonna hold it. No, we're all good. So I can't believe it. We finally finished! What's today, the 11th? The 11th. So we're a month and 11 days behind on when that bus was supposed to be done, <laughs> but it's literally officially done. It's knocked out of this park. There's nothing left. I'm taking it to my mechanic Friday and he's gonna look it over one more time and just check it out. But like everything I can do and this man can do is done. Yep. Uh, did you tell him about what we're gonna plan to do after it's done with the mechanics? No, it's a whole other thing. Oh, but snap. anyways, it's like, I know a lot of you guys who have built buses, sometimes you feel like they'll never get done or you're building your bus and you feel like you'll never get there. Just oh, yeah. one step at a time, one box checked off your list at a time and eventually you get there. But this thing is all done, all the boxes are checked. We're hyped <laughs> and we're stoked to show you the bus. So oh, yes. keep an eye out for a tour coming out on this channel soon. And this bus will also be listed uh, when the tour comes out. Oh yeah, oh so, yeah, any, it's gonna be amazing. Anything you learned in this build? Oh, I hate building buses. <laughs> the amount of work it takes to build a bus is something grueling, but I did learn a lot on actually how to build. So I'm very excited about that. Can't wait to put that knowledge to a new bus in my whole forever home later. All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole build. And that's gonna be the end of the Brewster build videos. So. Another thing, I didn't realize this till today, I have been a part of almost the entire inside of that bus build process wise. Cause I didn't think I did that much, but going through the videos, realizing I was like, oh my God, I touched everything in here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're officially starting the big bus this week. This one is done. We're hyped about it. Thank you guys so much. And if this is your first time that you've ever seen this channel and you like bus stuff or you like bus building, consider subscribing. If you're a long time subscriber and you're here every single week, I have so much love for you guys. Yeah, you and, are uh, the MVPs, everyone. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but we're pretty hyped that it's done. It's awesome, super so. exciting. All right, you guys. And last thing before I let Isaac let you go, come to my channel if you want to check out any of the work started on the big bus just for a couple days till he gets his stuff out. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. We'll see you in another one. Bye.